Okay, hello. Thanks for joining our Learn AutoCAD Plan 3D in minutes. And for today's topic, we will learn on how to create orthographic in Plan 3D. So to start our topics for today, you need to have at least your 3D modeling created with the external reference combined between multiple drawings. So in this case, I have one model. If I check on the external reference, XRAF, there will have plenty of drawings that combine together in this platform. If I want to insert more, then I can just easily add more drawing. So to create an orthographic, some company call the orthographic as a GA drawing. So you can go to the home tab. They will have one button auto view create auto view when you click on this icon they will have some pop-up that appear on your screen so by default you will not see anything in here to create a new drawing so just go to here create new just type in any drawing hit OK. So some cases, when you hit OK, you need to select the model manually. That one is really depends on your workflow. So if you want to exclude or include some of the model, so just go to this button, choose models. So now you can directly include everything in here. So since this model are extract with a few more drawings so it will include together with others drawing so in case you want only to focus with a certain drawing you just untick and then tick whatever that you want to focus on this panel or to cube you will have option to create or to view a specific area that you want to focus for example i want to focus on the top view just need to change to top. In this case, if I want to do some cut section, okay, with this with this this zone, okay, for example, I want to cut here and here, so I can insert, I can add job to the box. Later, you will see something like this. Okay, you will see these grip symbols. Then you can easily move the box follow whenever or wherever that you want to insert okay the next option for the output preference if you plan to have control with the piping you can also control here no hidden line hidden line piping all hidden lines for example for this case i don't want to see any hidden line so just hit here if i have insulation so i can also show in the drawing while if I have the match line, okay, this one is uh, uh, for the match line for your 3D, for your piping. Okay. So normally, if you want to make sure that your drawing is not too small or not too big, click on this paper check. Later, you will see that your paper size with your model. If you see that your paper is too big, then you just need to adjust the scale. So for example, I want to adjust to 150. So now my paper become a bit bigger. If I change to a smaller size, for example, 130 become a bit smaller paper. You can also insert the rotation angle if required and also the distance if you want to insert. But normally this button also can be done when you after you hit, hit OK button. So for example, I just hit OK. Now I can easily insert in my, this one is, it will take some time to show the result. So in this case, after I done with this modeling, right? Okay, so since I choose that no hidden line, now I cannot see any hidden line here. So if I plan to do some tagging to my pipe, Okay, for example, for this pipe, I want to do some tagging. So what I need to do, first, I need to do the bow. 
So just hit boom, hit viewport, which is this one. Okay, and then I can easily insert the box here to here. So this will be my boom. Okay, together with the ID, quantity, the size and schedule with the description. For example, I want to do some annotation to this pipe. When I hit boom annotation, so then I can just easily hit on this pipe. Sorry, if I want to do for piping annotation, I need to use ortho annotate. So when I click on this auto annotate, it will appear something like this. If you're not really sure what you want to do, okay, you can just click on this symbol. Okay, so they will have the list of items that you can choose. Okay, so for example, I want to uh, I want to get the value of center of pipe, COP. Okay, let me go again here. So it's okay, I try to do auto, hit, boom, enter. So this will be my boom here. So if I want to get a nominal diameter, so what I just need to do, just hit this one again. So just try to type in nominal. Okay, so this will be the nominal diameter for my pipe. Okay, so I repeat, if I want to insert something, okay, so some annotation in here, so I just need to hit auto, click this one, click this one. So this one already changed to this last setting that I use, which is a nominal diameter. If I want to use a bomb again, so select BOM, bomb. So this will be the bill of material number for this pipe. If I want to change back to nominal, just type in again, nominal. That's how it works on the annotation. So they will have more buttons that you can make use in Plant 3D Auto. So over here, if you already make change in your 3D model, for example, I go back to my 3D models, Okay, and then I try to adjust something in my modeling here. Okay, for example, I try to adjust this object. So edit reference in place, okay. So this model, I want to change the location. So I try to uh, move it. Yeah, so this object, edit in place. Or maybe easy for me to just open the file. Okay, easy for me to just open the file. So after I move it, <coughs> save again. <coughs> so what happened to your orthographic? Your orthographic will not be updated automatically. You need to hit update view, hit on the viewport. So just hit update. So it will automatically update for you, but in a manual way. Okay, they don't have any auto update like uh, inventor software when you create, when you change the 3D model, the 2D will be updated, not in Plum 3D. Okay, you need to do it manually. <laughs> Just be cautious if your file is quite big. Okay, so make sure that you update when necessary because every time you update, you will consume a lot of time. So some cases they will uh, drag you until three to five minutes to generate one drawing. Okay. Right. So that will be the topics that I want to share for today's uh, for orthographic. So we will have one more topic okay, that we will help uh, by next week. So others, if you want to request more topics, so just go to your YouTube. Uh, on the comment section, just type whatever topics that you want to focus on the plan 3D. Right. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for your time. See you in the next free online courses. Bye-bye.